Senator Dianne Feinstein, the Obama-loving liberal from California, is finally speaking out against the government spying on American citizens after coming down to the case of common sense, finally, and having information from other sources revealed to her that the CIA is just not only spying on, you know, just your average American citizen and us, us evil patriots, us evil Bill of Rights supporters. They, uh, but also members of Congress, <laughs> duh, uh, it particularly the Senate Intelligence Committee, which is a committee that is set up to act as a watchdog on the intelligence agencies. And so it's pretty incredible that Dianne Feinstein, an Obama worshiper herself, would publicly reveal such a thing. Uh, and it's making headlines around the world. Thank God. The head CBS investigative reporter who just resigned over her, uh, you know, just stories being censored and being pressured by the uh, CBS News organization, constantly broadcasting socialism. Uh, she had her computer hacked into a year ago, and they took it to a cybersecurity firm and had some uh, forensic analysis done on it where it was revealed that the computer had been entered into on multiple occasions. Uh, nobody put any code into it. Nobody put any spyware into it. But uh, the uh, forensic analysts revealed that an intruder had uh, just, you know, just copied her data. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, the CIA wants to know what's going on with that. Uh, apparently, the, uh, the investigation was progressing, but uh, it's been dropped like a hot potato, of course. <laughs> when it leads back to the NSA and they threaten your family. A lot of people just kind of, you know, just back off and forget it ever happened. Uh, the NSA, uh, CIA, sister organization, spying revelations really shouldn't be anything new. Of course, the it's mainstream news now that the NSA has uh, just intercepted, you know, just hundreds of thousands of laptops that have been ordered online and uh, not only just put spyware in them. I mean, they, they really have the backdoor keys uh, from all of the uh, operating system manufacturers, but they put uh, hardware on there as well. Oh, yes, they put wireless transmitters on there. They're probably actually the IT professionals that I've spoken to have suggested that it would be foolish to think that they're not doing this on an industrial level. Uh, really just saying that most computers manufactured in the last few years probably have <laughs> just, whoops, secret cell transmitters put on them uh, so that even if you never plug your computer into an Ethernet cable or never, you know, just even activate it, connect it to Wi-Fi, they can still just, uh, yeah, just get in there and poke around. Um, in a previous video, I covered Main Core, which is the list of, you know, just people like me and you that uh, the government has compiled in case of uh, just, you know, martial law. We'll, we'll be the people that they round up and uh, just imprison, as they have done in the past uh, with their secret FEMA prisons. You know, your mainstream media mockingbirds like to laugh at the FEMA prison, quote, conspiracy theories. But, uh, I mean, they're, 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 they're real. They're there. They've been activated a couple times, actually. I mean, do I need to point out the Guantanamo on the Hudson, the secret FEMA prison that was used in 2004 during the uh, RNC in New York City there, where they just rounded up a couple hundred protesters and just or maybe a thousand or so, and just whoops, just <laughs> put them into a secret prison that had been built into and maintained in a bus depot. Uh, yeah, just nobody knew about that until just whoa, whoops! Just let's just green light that. Let's let's throw some protesters in there. Um, oh, Obama just didn't know that we were spying on Germany's, uh, you know, chancellor. Just whoops! Oh, just oh, we only spy on terrorists. No, we just you know tapping the personal cell phones of everyone, <laughs> everyone there. Um, of course, the NSA uh, and their sister organization, the CIA, Cocaine Importing Agency, uh, and uh, spying uh, satellite uh, company there has. Um, you know, just uh, spied on people through leaky apps like Angry Birds. You know, just, oh, just, whoops. <laughs> I thought that, you know, a lot of terrorists must be playing Angry Birds on their cell phones. No, that's, you know, just a way for them to bypass the security features that are built into the cell phones and to just, you know, just to access your data, access your contact lists. Uh, just, you know, just <laughs> tap your phone there. Not to mention they're just playing video games, playing World of Warcraft, uh, you know, spying on people through video games. Just, and also probably just a cover story for these losers uh, in the NSA, these computer geeks, to uh, just, you know, get paid to play video games. Oh, we're, uh, we're spying on some terrorists, sir. Uh, they've infiltrated World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah. Um, meanwhile, uh, this story hasn't gotten any reporting in American media. The chief, uh, the head of the NSA, Keith uh, Alexander, who's you know, the four-star general in the Army now, head of the NSA, said that... Uh, the government's going to enact some uh, new legislation soon uh, to stop uh, reporters from talking about certain things. 
Uh, where's the, some of the quotes here? Yeah, we've got to stop these media leaks. I think we're going to make headway over the next few weeks on media leaks. I'm an optimist. I think if we make the right steps on the media leaks legislation, then cyber legislation will be a lot easier. Oh, that's right. Yeah, any reporter that gets any information leaked to them by a whistleblower like Edward Snowden will just be you know, just threatened and uh, <laughs> gagged, prevented from uh, talking about that. Otherwise, they're going to be in violation of national security policies as well. Take a look at this guy. This is the head of the NSA who is apparently going to be retiring in a couple weeks. This is Keith Gen uh, General Keith Alexander. I mean, just take a look at this guy. There, do you see a soul in there? I don't. I don't see a soul. I see a. I see a, a, a just an empty shell of a human being. Uh, just a sick, sick, demented, power-hungry, mad, uh, you know, Illuminati uh, intelligence agent right there. <laughs> you know. I mean, just look at this. The eyes are the windows of the soul. What do you see when you're looking in there? I just see an evil, tormented demon. Uh, that's what I see. Uh, so, pretty interesting when uh, the rats are jumping from the ship. I mean, you can't get really uh, more of an Obama worshiper than Diane Feinstein. Uh, just the fact that she would... Uh, so, I'm not taking this lightly. I mean, this is just incredible. The rats are just jumping from the ship. Uh, so I don't know, maybe, you know, one of her grandchildren read 1984 in school and is, you know, concerned. Hey, Grandma, you're a senator. What are you doing about this? So kind of good news over there. Pretty surprising. Uh, breaking through this uh, left-right paradigm, the Republicans are good, Democrats are bad. My team is good, your team is bad. Uh, you know, just uh, Bush, everything that Bush did, the spy is good. Everything Obama does is bad. It's just incredible the short memory that these people have when the Democrats who rallied against Bush's spying, Bush's secret prisons, um, just, you know, just kind of mute on Obama doing not only just the exact same thing, but just <laughs> expanding it by, you know, a hundredfold, a thousandfold, just the drone dropping demonic devil, you know, the radio controlled murder maniac, uh, Barack Obama. So this is good news. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Show Atkinson didn't quit live on the air. Uh, and the um, NSA uh, hacking into her computer just kind of been dropped like a hot potato. I just, whoops. But, you know, I probably don't blame her. I mean, you know, you got, you got kids. You got, uh, uh, you know, you get, get a visit from the men in black. It's, um, it's going to scare most people. So, uh, but it, we need to really just break through the fear. I mean, anybody that gets threatened needs to just publicly reveal that. And then uh, if they carry out their threats, uh, <laughs> it's just going to blow the whole thing wide open. So i uh, got to break through the fear. False evidence appearing real. It's kind of the acronym for fear. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new. Check out some of the previous videos and playlists on my YouTube homepage, youtube.com slash Mark Dice. Check out my book, Big Brother, The Orwellian Nightmare Come True which came out three years ago now. That's an analysis of George Orwell's novel and our current society uh, that just every day just keeps getting more and more valid. Still a couple shoes to drop uh, in that book that haven't been publicly revealed. But uh, if you want to get a really detailed account of what it is that's going on, pick up that book because uh, there's a lot of Orwellian weapons and a lot of uh, concepts that still haven't been uh, concepts and technology that still haven't been revealed to the public. So want to get yourself up to speed or you know, just you know give the book to somebody as a gift. That's a better way than just emailing them or expecting your family to actually read what you post on Facebook because they're going to just uh, skip over it after a while. They're, they'll go through uh, cognitive dissonance and they'll just, oh, I can't read that. Oh, it's just too dangerous. Wait a minute. The NSA is planting spyware on hundreds of thousands of computers and intercepting the UPS truck shipments and putting hardware on. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Geez, what's Beyonce doing? Let me just check out her booty shake. And that's, oh, yay. She's such a feminist. She's so great. Oh, Beyonce is such a hero. She's a great role model for future girls, future generations that want to grow up to be singing stripper prostitutes themselves.